Battletech Rise of the Mercenary Written and narrated by Lucas Gaming Solaris 7 Solaris City Colosseum District 14th of July 3046 The usual patrons of the bar were filing in from the dimly lit street outside. Game day usually drew a big crowd, particularly when the fight was in the Steiner Coliseum. The ale was already flowing, and cheers went up as the announcer rang off the names of the Mechdrox fighting that day. However, for the two men sitting in one corner of the bar, the excitement of a championship game was lost. They sat seemingly unaware of the crowd, who in turn didn't even notice them. A perfect place to talk, especially if you don't want anyone listening to your conversation. One of the men was older than the other. He wore a hooded cloak, which covered most of his scarred face. On his left hand he wore a signet ring with the Davion sigil emblazoned upon it. The other wore a green olive drab jumpsuit, combat boots and a laser pistol on his hip. I assume you have something for me. The hooded man exclaimed, his voice calm, yet the sense of energy was not lost on the other. Well, you dragged me to this pit for a reason. The other man paused for a moment, leant back and smiled. Of course I do, Sparta. I may not be cheap, but I always deliver. The man in the hood grimaced slightly at the mention of his name, even though he had to reveal his true identity to his former Davian comrades just to get a chance to have this meeting, it still made him uncomfortable for it to be said out loud, considering the circumstances. Reaching into the bag beside him, the younger man handed over a data pad. Sparta snatched it from the table and turned it on. The green glow from the screen illuminated his face, revealing heavy set worn features and deep eyes. Are you sure this data is correct? He asked. Sparta's companion almost looked hurt by this comment as he leaned forward to look into the old man's face. Of course. At least as far as three days ago. You of all people should know that these guys are not easy to find, let alone keep track of. Sparta smiled slightly at the thought of his old unit and protege still keeping true to the doctrines he had taught them. With one last glance at the screen, he placed it in the side of his cloak and stood up to leave, turning only to place a con key on the table. Your payment. And with that last exchange, Sparta left the bar and walked into the night.